Thanks for checking out this video. So let's get into it. Let's talk about what is coming to Shutter for May. And I'm particularly excited for what's coming in May. Not just because there's some good things there, but because it's my birthday uh, that month. And I will be celebrating by watching plenty on Shutter. And I'm going to tell you right now, there's a movie I'm going to tell you is coming to Shutter that I am predicting will be covered for The Last Drive-In with Joe Bob Briggs. Which, by the way, that will be well underway in May, so that's another thing to really look forward to in May. So let's get into this. Uh, oh, and once again, I do have to remind everyone, I do no spoiler reviews for all Shutter original and exclusive films. So just know that every Monday or Tuesday of each week, I will be putting up the review for the movie that is coming out that Thursday because they're pretty much always coming out on Thursdays. Every now and then they come out a different day, but I'll let you know if that's any different. So you can pretty much rely on uh, having a um, no-spoiler review for a Shutter original or exclusive every Monday or Tuesday. So just know that because they're pretty much always coming out. Anyway, let's talk about what's coming. So this is uh, the first portion are the exclusives and originals. So the first one is a Shutter original called Fried Berry. And it's coming May 7th. Now, this one is available in U.S., Canada, the U.K., and uh, Austria, Australia, New Zealand. Friedberry follows the story of a drug-addled degenerate who, after yet another bender, gets abducted by aliens. Okay. <laughs> Barry takes a back seat as his alien visitor assumes control of his body and takes it for a joyride through Cape Town. What follows is an onslaught of drugs, sex, and violence as Barry's alien tourist enjoy or enters the weird and wonderful world of humankind. That's interesting. Uh, obviously, I'll be doing a review on it, so I'll be watching that. Next one is called The Reckoning. This one is, is a Shutter exclusive coming May 13th, and this one's available U.S., Canada, and the U.K. Uh, oh, and Ireland. Sorry, the other one was in Ireland as well. They're in Ireland now. UKI is what they say here, I believe. After losing her husband during the Great Plague, Grace Haverstock is unjustly accused of being a witch and placed in the custody of England's most ruthless witch hunter, Judge Moorcroft. Forced to endure physical and emotional torture while steadfastly maintaining her innocence, Grace must face her own inner demons as the devil himself starts to work his way into her mind. All right, we'll see. This one I'm very excited about. I've been waiting for this one. I know a lot of people have been waiting for this one. Some people have already paid for this because they couldn't wait. But I was like, no, I'm going to get a screener. I'm waiting. That is Psycho Goreman by the same people who did The Void, which is awesome. And I think still on Shutter. If you haven't seen it, you definitely should see it. It's great. So coming May 20th, actually just two days before my birthday. Awesome. Uh, Psycho Goreman. Uh, available in U.S., Canada, U.K., Ireland, Australia, New, uh, New, yeah, Australia, New Zealand. In PG, Psycho Gorman, young siblings Mimi and Luke unwittingly resurrect an ancient alien overlord who was entombed on Earth millions of years ago after a failed attempt to destroy the universe. They nickname the evil creature Psycho Gorman, or PG for short, and use the magical amulet they discovered to force him to obey their childish whims. It isn't long before PG's reappearance draws the attention of intergalactic fiends, uh, sorry, intergalactic friends and foes from across the cosmos, and a rogues gallery of alien combatants converges in small town suburbia to battle for the fate of the galaxy. I've heard only good things about Psycho Gorman, actually good to great things about Psycho Gorman, and I hear there are a lot of creatures, a lot of practical effects, so I'm very, very interested in that one. Then, a Shutter original coming May 27th, Skull the Mask, available in U.S., Canada, U.K., Ireland, Australia, New Zealand. In this splatter-filled supernatural slasher, a pre-Columbian artifact contains the spirit of An Anhaga. I'm sorry, I probably butchered the hell out of that. The Executioner of the God. Oh, this is going to be good. <laughs> Taha Want Wantinsupe. Taha Wantinsupe. I tried. Whoever wears the mask is possessed by Anhanga and compelled to commit sacrifices to resurrect his god. It's up to a museum assistant and a policewoman to stop the slaughter before the ritual is completed. A throwback treat for fans of 80 slashers and gory practical effects. That sounds cool. That sounds really cool and a good follow-up to Psycho Gorman. So I'm excited for that one too. Obviously, Joe Bob Briggs will be going on. 
so check that out. Uh, ooh, does it say guest stars? Oh, it's it. Sorry, it are it says guest stars who have already been on it, not who are going to be on it. So yeah. Okay, so coming May first, The Wicker Man. Yes, the original Wicker Man. I'm excited about this. It's been a while since I've seen this film. I love this film. It is a wonderful film. I'm going to have to watch it and do a full-on review for it. So just coming to the... I think that's only going to be in the U.S. Wow, a lot of the stuff is only in the U.S. apparently. So that sucks. Okay, so coming May 1st, The Wicker Man, only to the U.S. Uh, from 1973. During a celebration of May Day, a Puritan police sergeant arrives in a Scottish island village in search of a girl who the locals claim never existed. Great film. Just watch it if you haven't seen it. Also, only for the U.S., same date. House on Haunted Hill from 1959, the original one. A millionaire offers $10,000 to five people who agree to be locked in a large, spooky, rented house overnight with him and his wife. The film is produced by horror legend William Castle. I've seen that, but it's been a long time, so I need to see it again. I've also seen the next one, which is the updated version of House on Haunted Hill, which I remember liking. I think that had Jeffrey Rush in it. Had a lot of recognizable people in the cast also only in the u.s and coming may 1st house on haunted hill from 1999 an amusement park mogul offers a group of diverse people one million dollars to spend the night in a haunted house with a horrifying past you see how they went from ten thousand in the past to a million in 1999 kind of funny also coming may 1st for the u.s and canada i'm excited about this one because this is another film i haven't seen for quite a while and i really enjoy 13 Ghosts. Oh, actually, I'm sorry. This is the original 13 Ghosts. I've not seen that. I've seen the remake. It's been a while since the remake, and I really want to rewatch the remake. But I will see the original, because I've heard good things. From 1960. Uh, a family inherits what proves to be a haunted house, but a special pair of goggles allows them to see their ghostly tormentors. The film is produced by horror legend William Castle. Once again, just like House on Haunted Hill. So definitely want to check that out. Also coming May 1st, coming to the U.S. and Canada, Curse of the Demon from 1958. Directed by Hollywood great Jacques Tourneur. Tourneur? Tourneur? American professor John Holden arrives in London for a parapsychology conference, only to find himself investigating the mysterious actions of devil worshiper Julian Carswell. Kind of vague. I don't know. Probably skip on that one. Coming May 4th to the U.S. only. I'm sorry. This is the movie I am predicting will be a Joe Bob Briggs one that is covered in The Last Drive-In, Frankenhooker by Frank Henenlotter. And think about it. He's already done ba uh, Basket Case. He's already done Brain Damage. He loves Frank Henenlotter. He's going to be doing Frankenhooker. I'm calling it right now. And I hope so, because I love this film. If you haven't seen it, got to see it. I own it on Blu-ray. It's back here somewhere. I love it. Directed by Frank Henenlotter, a medical student sets out to recreate his decapitated fiance by building her a new body made of Manhattan street prostitutes. It's as fun as it sounds. Just know that. Coming May 10th for the U.S. and Canada, Seder. I actually just read a review on this in Room Org Magazine. Secluded in a desolate forest, a broken family is observed by Seder, a supernatural entity who is attempting to claim them. I'll probably skip. Doesn't sound that interesting. Uh, also coming May 10th, Climate of the Hunter, coming to the United States, Australia, and New Zealand. Two sisters vie for the affections of a man who may or may not be a vampire. When the three come together for dinner, it has all the markings of a lovely meal filled with desire, memories, and blood. From indie auteur Mickey Reese comes a wholly original new vampire vision. Huh. I'm kind of interested in that because... I do like vampire stuff, and if it says it's got a new twist to it, I'm very intrigued by that. Also coming May 10th, this is coming to U.S., Canada, U.K., Ireland, Australia, New Zealand. Everyone's getting it. The Funeral Home. Bernardo is an undertaker who runs mortuary business in the same house where he resides. That sounds like a bad idea. In the, in the front, he has his clients, and in the back, his dysfunctional family lives among coffins, wreaths, and mischievous supernatural entities that visit on a daily basis. They attribute the paranormal manifestations to the dead bodies from their mortuary work, but finding the real source of all this madness will be their quest, and what they might find is a terrifying truth. That sounds kind of cool. I, I, I'll i check that one out. Coming May 13th, the film Trickster. Oh, it's a season. I'm sorry. This is a show. 
Full season binge available on May 13th of Trickster. This is for the U.S. only. Based on the best-selling trilogy of novels by Eden Robinson, Trickster tells the story of the indigenous gothic spirits, ancient magic, and deadly rites of passage in a coming-of-age story unlike any you've ever seen. Interesting. Might check it out. Uh, May 17th, coming to the U.S. only. This is a film that I'm overdue to see, have not seen it, so I'm definitely going to check it out when it's available. May, May 17th, sorry. American Mary by the Saska Twins. The allure of easy money sends Mary Mason, a medical student, into the world of underground surgeries, which ends up leaving more marks on her than her so-called freakish clients. Very interested in that. Heard only good things, so definitely check it out. Uh, also coming on the 17th, Time Lapse, just to the U.S., Three friends discover a mysterious machine that takes pictures 24 hours into the future and conspire to use it for personal gain until disturbing and dangerous images begin to develop. Sounds kind of interesting. I might check that out. Uh, also coming on the 17th, Found, and this is coming to the U.S. and Canada. A horror-obsessed boy discovers his older brother is a serial killer. That's it. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. Uh, coming May 18th, Death by Temptation. This is for the U.S., Canada, U.K., Ireland, Australia, and New Zealand, so everyone's getting it. An evil succubus is preying on libidinous black men in New York City, and all that stands in her way is a minister in training, an aspiring actor, and a cop who specializes in cases involving the supernatural. Sounds a little convoluted, but may maybe... Uh, also coming May 18th, Black Roses. This is for the U.S., U.K., Ireland, Australia, and New Zealand, so everyone but Canada, unfortunately. Demons hypnotize the general public by posing as a rock and roll band. That has great potential. I might, I might check that one out. Uh, coming May 24th, Werewolf, which I haven't seen, so I should because I like werewolf films. Coming to the U.S. and Canada only. World War II, a group of children liberated from a concentration camp find themselves, aimless and hungry, stranded in an abandoned mansion in the forest, surrounded by vicious attack dogs. Sounds good. I'm going to have to check it out. Also, coming May 24th, The Machine, and this is coming to the U.S. and Canada only. In efforts to construct perfect android-killing machines in a war against China, U.K. scientists exceed their goal and create a sentient robot. That is potential. I could check that out. And the final film, it is for the U.S. and Canada only, sorry, only coming only coming to those two places in uh, on May 24th, The Windmill. In a desperate attempt to stay one step ahead of the authorities, Jennifer joins a coach load of tourists embarking on a tour of Holland's world-famous windmills. She and the other tourists are forced to seek shelter in a disused shed beside a sinister windmill where, legend has it, a devil-worshipping Miller once ground the bones of locals instead of grain. Ooh, that's interesting. I like that aspect. As members of the group start to disappear, Jennifer learns that they all have something in common. A shared secret that seems to mark them all for doom. This one's sounding interesting. I, th I definitely think I want to check out the windmill. That sounds good. And that is it. So I would love to hear from you. What are you most excited about? Put it down in the comments. Me? The original 13 Ghosts. The original House on Haunted Hill. Frank and Hooker. Um, what else did I say? American Mary, The Wicker Man. This is going to be a good month. Oh, Psycho Gore Man. I mean, come on. This is going to be a good month, and it's perfect because it's my birthday month. So I'm going to binge some Shudder. I'm going to treat myself to that. So what are you going to treat yourself to with Shudder? What are you really, really looking forward to? Put it in the comments down there. And I know, I assume that most people are excited for The Last Drive-In, but here's the thing. Do you agree with me? Do you think Frankenhooker is going to be on The Last Drive-In? And I'd also like to hear what your films are that you would really like to see Joe Bob cover on that. Just curious, because I have some in mind, uh, like other ones other than Frank and Hooker in mind, that I'd really like to see him cover. But I'm interested in what other people have to say, so let's talk in the comments. Do me a quick favor, hit that subscribe button. Uh, that is your way to repay me for all the free content I'm putting out there. Uh, and also, it helps motivate me to keep going. And I just love kind of growing this nerdy horror community that I'm working on right here. So I would appreciate that. Also hit the notification bell button because that way you know when I'm putting up any of these videos, which are to give you a heads up what's coming to Shudder, or one of my in-depth movie reviews, no spoiler movie reviews, haul videos, unboxings, opinion pieces, all that jazz. 
But regardless, thanks everyone for taking your time to check this out. And until next time, keep it brutal.